Well, good morning, guys. Uh, one of the downsides of being in the desert, hey, Uma, <laughs> as soon as I started talking, you got away. Huh? Anyhow, one of the downsides of being in the desert is uh, with it being windy and dusty and so on, is uh, you get this. Yeah. And when I was, had my house, I was like total clean freak. Everything was sparkling clean. You know, anytime I washed anything, I dried off the sink even with a towel, make it all nice and shiny and everything. So it took a little adjustment to get used to uh, living in dirt, that's for sure. Because uh, I can remember the first couple months I was sweeping out the floor uh, daily. I'm like, why am I getting all this dirt in here? It's obvious because you're walking in and out with your shoes on and the dog and everything else. So yeah, you have to learn to live with dirt. And let dirt be your friend. But anyhow, I gotta clean this stuff up. Hi, Uma. How are you? Hi, baby girl. It's Good morning, guys. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too dark uh, that you were able to see how Uma wakes me up. Little Miss Voice here. Did you want to say hi? Uma, are you a good girl? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Anyhow, welcome back to the Scottage. If it's your first time, welcome. Um, but yeah, we've decided after yesterday cleaning all the dust off everything that uh, I'm going into town. So I'm probably going to cover everything in dust all over again. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, going to go. Got to go get some mail, uh, which is probably one of the busiest uh, greeting card stores in, in the world. <laughs> uh, I'll explain later. But, uh, yeah, we are in travel mode. I don't know if you guys have seen the van much in travel mode. Um, yeah, put the sink being down. I put a towel there so it doesn't uh, vibrate against the metal and make noise and or break. Then everything gets piled on the bed back there. Uh, garbage. I always put in the washroom down there. Just in case it spills over or anything. Uh, the seats are turned around. Obviously. I just gotta open up that accordion blind thing that's permanently on the windshield. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's go to town, get some stuff done, see some stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Come here. Uma, come on. Let's go, Cheeky. Come on. Let's go inside. In. Good girl.
definitely worth the stop there. There's some really uh, cool ass sculptures. The guy's a really good artist for sure. Lots of detail on him and everything. All right, off to uh, the High Jolly Memorial Cemetery, whatever it's called. <laughs> So I was wrong last week about uh, High Jolly being uh, World War II. It was way before then. It was actually in 1857. Here's the post if you guys want to pause and read about it. It was pretty cool that they uh, tried delivering jackass mail. And then this is the last camp that uh, High Jolly was at. pyramid that they built in memory of him. The camel driver Packer Scout over 30 years. This was put up in 1935. <laughs> Are you barking at the camel? <laughs> yeah, this is actually the Quartzite Cemetery as well. Did you get the camel? Did you get it? Okay, let's go. Yeah, pretty interesting. 1857. Holy cow. That was a long time ago. Like uh, close to 200 years ago. Wow. Pretty neat. History in Quartzsite. I'm sure there's lots of mining history as well. I don't know what this little monument is over here. Let's see if it's anything worthwhile. What are you doing? You're just following up. High Jolly Cemetery. <coughs> Nothing really special to read. I think the cops are coming to get me. Come on, Uma. Let's go. Anyhow, we're going to continue on and probably head to the... Uh, get my mail. Good, how are you? Hi, it's all right. That's me. Are you a YouTuber? Yes. Ah. All right, three dollars. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. All right. All right, so we're at uh, Quiet Times Greeting Card Store. I think it's the busiest uh, greeting card store in North America, if not the world. Uh, not for greeting cards, though. They have a uh, mail service where anybody in Quartzsite can get a package delivered. Um, I think it's $3 for a small package and maybe $4 for a large package. I can't remember, but I paid 3 But uh, yeah, it's very convenient. Uh, when you're here, there's no Amazon lockers with it being such a small town and uh, they make it uh, convenient to uh, have a place to ship it to. And uh, she's only here from, I think, for six months of the year, from October to whenever, uh, just to run this business, which is pretty smart, if you ask me, uh, making $3 a package off everybody, because usually there's a lineup in the place all the time. And uh, Quartzsite gets pretty busy in uh, sort of January when there's a big RV show here. So, uh, yeah, good little business to have. And uh, now I think I'm going to order a pizza from Silly L's.
Happy? You happy to be back? Yes, you are, ain't you? Oh my goodness. And what else? So, yeah. Got some firewood in town. Nice little fire tonight if it's not too windy. Just gotta clean up the fire pit a bit. Got a mess right now. But yeah, we're back. Got pizza to munch on all day. Life is good. Alright guys, well it got a little too windy last night down a fire, so uh, tonight looks better for the fire, but at least I was able to uh, clean up the fire pit a little bit. How you doing, man? You doing a good job? And yeah, able to burn all my uh, cardboard in the wood. I know, I'm, I'm talking again. <laughs> in the pizza box. And yeah. Come on, no. Well, I think I'm gonna end the video here. And a little, uh, little fire to end the evening, just like I was gonna have. Stop. Yeah. That's it for this week, and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys.